Hello everyone. Uh, yep. I am going to start this by saying I'm ridiculously tired and this isn't my real hair. <laughs> um, I don't know why I'm wearing this. Saw it hanging in the corner and threw the shit on. I, I, the, re I, the reason I have it is because I went to a Halloween. I DJed a Halloween party. I went in as Keith Stone, blah, 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 long story short. But actually to give you kind of a, an idea, this is how I used to look. Sort of, kind of. I used to have my hair about this long. So, yeah. And uh, I'm, I'm wearing it, to be honest, in, in thought. I think about it now, and I'm wearing it in complete celebration of No Shave November. Because, as you can tell, well, I'm starting to get a little scruffy here. A little bit. And, uh, I, uh, I would just like to extend a congratulations or a let's keep it going or be howdy doody to everyone who is participating this year in No Shave November. And, uh, I prefer myself with an ash. And, uh, I have gotten some, some strange looks and some strange comments because I don't know, I, I don't think I've ever, I've never had facial hair like this before. And, as I made mention in a couple of videos back, I'm, I'm kind of growing my hair and growing my facial hair because I'm on probation and I figure, hmm, if I'm going to be miserable, because I don't have a license for 60 days, I might as well be ugly and miserable. So that's that's my whole reason behind it. Um, I got a couple of topics I want to cover real quickly as I keep reaching across the camera to grab now my ashtray. Um, make this video real quick. Um, like I said, I just did a, another party that I DJed and it, it went 10 times better. Uh, I got to give a big shout out to my friend, uh, Shubes, for coming along to help me out. He drove me in there because I don't have a license. And he made the whole night go 10 times easier because he helped out. He helped with the requests. He, I, he even actually did some DJing for a while. So big big thanks to Shoops. Um, big thanks to Sarah. Big thanks to Kim who threw the party. It was awesome. Um, I will admit, and I do have to apologize for a bit of unprofessionalism because there was a girl who... <sighs> She came up to me, she was talking to me, and long story short, we ended up dancing and kissing for a little bit, and that's fine. I have no problems dancing and kissing with this girl, but I was there to do a job, and my, and by kissing and making out and, and fraternizing with this girl, God, I sound like a fucking idiot, but basically, spending time with this girl, I was spending time not doing my job, and for that, I, I apologize to them, because, uh, it, it, it did come to my attention that there was one person who wanted to actually come up and request a song and felt kind of awkward saying it because I was, you know, hanging out with this girl. So, uh, but next time that won't happen. Um, I actually did uh, get hired to DJ a wedding. Um, I'm starting off low. It's my first time doing it. It's actually my first time I've ever been to a wedding. So I'm only charging, you know, uh, a couple bucks for it. Um, like I said, it's a little bit underball, but it's a learning experience and my first time and I, I want to help these guys have the best wedding possible and everybody's trying to save a buck and if my lack of experience can be turned into a, a very enjoyable and memorable experience for them and save them a couple bucks well then I'm just glad I could help so um that's happening that that went down um I'm now over halfway through my mandatory probation as long as I get everything um everything taken care of in time um I'm almost halfway through my suspension of my license because I need to get that back. Um, I just finished uh, a side project. I did a video for a gentleman I work with, um, his son's football team. He gave me almost almost over 600 clips throughout the season. Every play was filmed individually, and he wanted me to make a highlight video of it. Um, it came out great. Uh, I think it came out great. It was very simple. It was pretty much just fade transitions. I used a little bit of music in it, um, about 10 minutes long. So uh, I'm just waiting on the, uh, any feedback from him as far as if he wants it altered at all. If not, I'm going to produce the DVDs for him, and he can give them to the rest of the parents. So that that does that. So DJ this weekend, uh, video that I just completed, actually yesterday morning. I was up until 7 in the morning working on it. I think in the last four days, I've gotten 15 hours of sleep. Like, I guess, yeah, five hours of sleep, four hours of sleep, but it's just, 
this morning I slept for like two and a half hours. I'm exhausted, and I'm still up at twelve thirty in the morning. I'm beyond tired. Uh, maybe that's why I'm wearing this wig because I really have no concept of what's going on right now, and I don't even care. But no, um, but seriously, this is like how my hair used to be. It's about as long as my hair used to be. Uh, if I can find any old pictures, I'll post them up of uh, how my hair used to look. And it, it's really used to look kind of like this. My hair is ridiculously curly, and I would straighten it. But I got to admit, I do miss it. I, I have dreams every once in a while that I have my long hair back. And I, I could be pissed off my dream, but I'm just so happy I have my long hair. And uh, But it's just it's so much of a hassle. It's so much of a nuisance, and I do look better without it. But that doesn't mean I don't miss it. But um, other than that, like I said, work's been crazy. Uh, Sons of Anarchy, uh, I do, uh, I wish I could bring it up. Uh, I got a shout out. I'm sorry, I forgot your name. I should have researched it before I did this video. But you did uh, respond to my my one video on Sons of Anarchy. And it, it was, it was crazy. I, I think the season is awesome. I can't believe what just happened in this last episode with, you know, Tara getting hurt and you know, everything going down. I wish Gemma was a better shot and would have killed Clay, but then it would have ruined, you know, the, the storyline. So obviously he's going to stick around for at least another episode uh, until he gets killed. And I am so looking forward to the next episode. It's absolutely crazy. Um, American Horror Story is on FX. That's another show that I've gotten into. Awesome. Creepy as shit. Um, not like any other show that's on TV right now, but I love it. It's a, it's, it's like, Sons of Anarchy is the only show I'm religious about. Like, I watch it and I talk about it like they're real people. It's horrible. But uh, American Horror Story is definitely a, a, a win. It's definitely a cool show. Um, other than that, uh, there's something else I want Oh, real briefly, I'll touch on the whole Joe Paterno thing. I don't know much about the case. I, from things I've read, from things I've heard, supposedly he knew about what happened and he just never told anybody about it morally it's ridiculous like dude like i can't believe as as, as a father as a oh i'm not a father but i'm saying for him for anybody out there as a parent uh as a student of the school as anybody who has any kind of moral respect for children um it's it's you have to tell somebody i understand that there's you know you know what i mean like it's not his not in his business. He doesn't want to get involved, but at the same time, dude, you got to speak up about that. Um, it, it's an end of a legacy. The man has been with the school longer than I've been alive. I think it's been like 40, 50 years, some crazy shit. I don't know the exact date. I don't follow. I, 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 the man's a legend. The man is a complete legend of that school. He will go down in history as the greatest coach that school has ever had. It's horrible that his legacy has to be tarnished and to end in this manner. Um, like I said, it's morally tragic. It's horrible. The man, it, Joe, you should have spoken up, bro. I, I, I don't understand if maybe it was an issue of you didn't want to get involved with it, but, or you just don't want to point figures or you don't want to be a snitch. It's easy as that. Like I understand, but at the same time, something like that—that's horrible, man. I don't know you personally, but it's—it's it's horrible. I don't know you personally. I can't say I dislike you. Uh, I—it's—I it, don't want to compare the man to Michael Jackson, but I have to go this way. The man, what the man did for football, was amazing. He's one of the greatest coaches, if not the greatest, college coach, to ever have lived. Outside of football in that particular situation, it's it's. I don't want to say unforgivable, but it, it's 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 horrible. It's it's really is horrible that he wouldn't have spoken up and said something. Um, the reason I burn Michael Jackson is that people go, "Oh, Michael, blah, 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 Michael's a horrible person." But, well, you know what? You have to be. You have to split it. What the what Michael Jackson did for music, nobody's touched. He he's he's that. He did more for music than most people, most genres have been able to do. He, it, you know what I mean? But in his personal life, it was horrible. Obviously, Joe Pell wasn't the one who did any of this. 
but still, if you know about it, you have a moral responsibility to say something. And that is all I'm going to say about that, because I've been seeing posts and posts and posts and posts. It's, it's, it's borderline Modern Warfare 3. That's when that came out, people went ballistic. Oh, we get it, okay. Um, other than that, um, start playing the guitar a little bit more. I, I haven't been slacking off on that. I started playing again tonight. The American, oh, the CMAs were on the night. I'm hitting every topic tonight, motherfuckers. I'm hitting every topic tonight. The CMAs were on TV today. And the two big things, the three big things I want to point out is A, I'm a diehard Sugar fan, Sugarland fan. It's horrible. Uh, it, it's it's something I don't even like to admit, but I love Sugarland. I think Jennifer Nettles is one of the sexiest women alive. She can she has a, an amazing voice. I think she's gorgeous. I think I I've always liked the band. I've always liked all of their songs. I, I I'll be in my car alone by myself singing uh the uh. Stuck on you, bada bada, stuck like glue, you, me, like, I don't know, I'm, a, I'm an idiot about it, I love it, I'll sing it at the top of my lungs, but as soon as somebody else gets car, rock time, time for some hip-hop, throw on some Wheezy or some Metallica or something, yeah, anything but that, cause, yeah, I'm, you know, but, uh, uh, yeah, so that was on, that was point number one, and the cool thing about the whole CMAs was, it, I could, I was playing my guitar pretty much the whole time with it. Just learning new songs, learning new songs, learning new songs. Uh, and then the other thing was the two big mess-ups. They showed Thompson Square. They announced Thompson Square for one of the best uh, uh, acts of the year or whatever, groups of the year. And they uh, they had Steel Magnolia on the screen. Kind of mess-up. That and when... Uh, uh, what's her name? What is her name? Uh, not Miranda Lambert. Is it Miranda Lambert? No. Yes, it was. I think it was Miranda Lambert. I think it was Miranda Lambert. When she won Best Female, they said, and this is Martina McBride's, this is Miranda Lambert's first award of the night, and then they fucked that all up. So, way to go, guys. You guys made the night. Yeah. The show must go on. So, with that said, I've touched... So many bases. It's already up to 13 minutes on this son of a bitch. I didn't even think I was going to get to five. Um, so this is Josh Dude saying step up, go hard. Uh, I've got my hair. And, uh, ah. and once again, step up, go hard, everybody. Peace out. Have a nice night. And I'm going to try to get some sleep for once. Peace.